So I think I'll, I usually start these a bit differently, but I think I'll go with a, a Z-Sphere to start this, um, which is a really easy way to um, sketch out a form, and you'll see really quick. So now I'm just going to be dragging out the basic proportions of this character, and then um, then we can turn it into a, a poly model. And this is all just getting a very rough idea of what we want to do. So it's just getting the basic proportions. I'm probably not going to put in finger joints or something, because I can, after this, I'll just dynamesh it, and I can just move all that around and do that much quicker. Just using the Damien standard again to define some more recessive areas, uh, defining the butt area and the tailbone area, and how those sort of exaggerated alien muscles will look and be defined on his body. All really basic stuff, just again, like traditional sculpting or traditional drawing or painting is just general to specific. So we've started with this sort of very simple thing and now we're just getting into specifics. Um, dragging out a cylinder arm and now just defining where the muscles would be and defining those fingers a bit more. When you turn on light, sometimes they'll be front facing like this. And if you just double click on it, it'll go to the back so you can just get rim lighting really easily. I think for this main render, I was thinking about posing him in some sort of action pose where he's about to fight this creature. But I think for this, we'll just do kind of a, not heroic, but just something that's kind of presentable, like showing the character kind of like a hero shot or something. Again, when you're doing this, think about how the bones are moving. And like if I just rotated the hand, then the rest of the muscles and things in the body are still so it's straight down, so you got to kind of slowly and naturally rotate a little bit, unmask some stuff, rotate more, rotate more, just so it looks natural. It's pretty much in place, just toning it down a little bit. It's a, obviously a bit extreme still, lower the opacity a bit. Just getting a bit of, uh, bringing a bit of it into the skin and it's linear dodge layer it's it's a good way to get some additional color mixing and just uh bring out the forms uh if the lighting passes we rendered out didn't work so 100 percent the way we wanted just vignetting the form a little bit like we did with the portrait a little too much but i think that's working pretty good and our scene is starting to get pretty dense with objects and other sub-tools. So when we're manipulating this and moving it around, um, it'll be helpful to turn on uh, transparency, which I, you can see I just did there, just so I can see through the model and um, have a better idea where that object is so I'm not looking at the top of his shoulder and without any frame of reference what I'm doing. So just trying to line that up so it feels like it's clipped onto his uh, belt. Maybe get some dark blue color in there. Uh, maybe make, give him just a more of a, maybe like some of the whale images we were looking at earlier, some sort of color scheme like that, like a real dark blue with a light belly. So right now I'm just using the standard brush to paint over, or just paint the base colors. Uh, so it's just a real soft airbrush sort of look. 